Hello. Well, we're back here to set she again. You know, this satellite just never seems to stop in um, fascinating. So please watch this. This is the last couple of days. And I want you to watch this object right here. And I want to give a thank you to Jake Riley. He's the one that actually brought this to my attention. And this is quite fascinating when you see what is actually taking place here. You can clearly see there is something moving here. And I'm not sure what it is. It's big. Seems to be moving in retrograde to, this is Venus, this is Earth, that's Mercury. So let's go and take a look in a uh, different light spectrum. So this is the same camera view. Let's see if we can see something. Well, we're getting Huh. Well, let's see if we can find out what this missing frame is. All right, let's check this out. And real quick, let's just see a couple stills. So there's the object in question. It's big. And let's just see what we get. Oh, excuse me. Well, there it is. See it right there. And there it is again. So it's clearly something. I just don't know what. And then we have this. <laughs> well, kind of basically explains itself. So what could be a possible other solution other than the fact that our sun is becoming weaker and is putting out less solar energy that over the subsequent 30, 40 years, we have seen a steady decrease in solar output. All of this is uh, verified and can be shown um, as fact. Um, is it that we're seeing a reduction in the plasma that the Earth produces? Are we seeing a reaction of the solar wind, a weak stream? I don't believe so. This is interesting. And it would seem that our magnetosphere is encountering um, a little disturbance. Definitely seeing these open lines crossing here. And those actually are producing um, some serious um, reaction. And it looks like our sun's going to get a little active. Let's see if we go over there real quick. And this is why you may want to watch that sunspot group coming around. Um, this is the sun. And all of the magnetic complexity. Positive, ne uh, negative, and um, neutral. But you can see... Um, these two have an opportunity to really start mixing. And I'll just put this in motion for you. I mean, these are just some great tools. Anyway, something to be watching. So this is a neat tool. Um, when you see sunspots, coronal holes, even filaments, 
and this is the view of the sun this is the ecliptic and earth is typically right there so you can see the magnetic field positive negative and you can begin to see um, as well as to where those fields are lining up on the ecliptic as well um, again just more tools and when things start getting active again on our sun um, these are the kind of things that we can watch and see as well this here's the top view if we were to look down on top of the sun again the ecliptical plane and this is what we would see positive negative just really cool and this obviously affects us on planet Earth. And I thought I'd end tonight's report. It just keeps on going, doesn't it? I am tell you, I still think that these two are going to come together. But look what it's doing over here. It's just like sucking all the energy out of the atmosphere where these uh, storms are concerned. And you just got this kind of like no man's zone in here. I mean, look at that. <laughs> Half a mile an hour. I mean, if you were wanting to uh, be in a sailboat and get somewhere, you're not going to go anywhere. It's just very interesting. Um... This HD just really, wow. I mean, seriously, <laughs> that's just, it's just bizarre looking, number one, just to take a, just to look at it, stepping back. I mean, just undulating everywhere. I'm going to take this HD off. You can just see this. And it does, it just rips around right in here in the Gulf of Mexico look at that it's like this ridge is forming in there is that odd look at that and look how it's impacting the wind coming right off of here coming around here whooping right through there it's just and then Well, this is intensified. And we've been watching this now for quite some time, what's going on right over in this part of the world. Just continued devastation of unprecedented flooding, crops being wiped out. Um, just amazing. Let's see what the surface temperatures are. Uh, let me just keep that up here. Excuse me. Hmm. hot <laughs> that's all I gotta say it's hot but you know of course here's the Himalayas and you can see the difference 
Yeah, a lot going on. All right, folks, we'll talk soon.